paralysis on the left side of my body can mean one of only two things. Either I've contracted the hantavirus or it's time to read a little viewer mail. Hey, all right. I guess I won't have to go into quarantine after all. Today's letter comes from Max Johnson of Phoenix, Arizona. He writes, Dear John, how did you get that strange spot on the side of your head? Well, thanks for asking, Max. Actually, it's quite an amusing story. Roll the tape, Fred. Fred? Uh, yeah, John. Could you roll the tape, please? Um, we have a little problem. What, what, what are you talking about? Please do not tell me he's taken another hostage. You want to go to commercial? No, no. You know what? Not this time. I'm going to take care of this myself. Coming through hostage crisis. Hostage crisis. Look out, please. 11825, code 6, 105 North Avenue, 52. Back off. I'll take it from you. Bob, this is John. What exactly is the problem? I've been editing your show every day for four years, and it's always the same. See, lowbrow humor and the stupid jokes about your Uncle Carl and the spot on your head. I can't take it anymore. Easy, Bob. Don't do anything crazy. Just tell us. What are your demands? Well, first off, no more gratuitous sex and violence. I am tired of your cheesy production values. You don't even use real actors in your sketches. You just grab guys from the crew. Get out. Go. Hurry, hurry. And I'm sick and tired of your stupid V-neck sweaters. Sounds reasonable to me. Why don't you just put the gun down, release the producer, and we'll see if we can work things out. No way. No way. I'm not going to fall for that. You don't really care about my opinion. You're just another vain on-camera phony. That's not true. I really value your creative opinion. In fact, I'm going to bring this up at the next writer's meeting. You will? That's right, because you've reminded me of what it means to take pride in your work. In fact, I've been meaning to thank you. Oh. You're welcome. And as far as this whole hostage crisis is concerned, I say we just put it behind us and focus on the future. Do you really mean it? Of course I do. Now, give me that gun, silly. Come on, come on, give me the gun. Give me the gun. Give me the gun. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. I couldn't take any more of the stupid paint box stills or those terrible Chiron lists. I know, I know. <laughs> and when you don't know how to end a sketch, you just shoot somebody. Come on, it's all right. Really? You want to go home? Yeah. and fade to black. Okay, now let's uh, cut to that shot of John returning to the studio. If you say so. Well, glad that's taken care of. Nasty bit of business, that. Okay, folks, we got plenty more talk soup on the way, including gratuitous sex and violence, cheesy production values, non-professional actors, V-neck sweaters, contrived endings, and of course, now, clip of the week. Stick around, we'll be right back.